Hey, good morning. It is a new week, and uh, we are out riding this morning and looking for some cows that we need to get bumped into the right pasture down here. And that's probably what we're going to be doing most of this week is uh, gathering up some cows that are in the wrong places and cows that we need to get together. And uh, we've got several cows that, well, four that we know of that we're missing. And they're all in different places. And so we're going to be hitting that. But this morning, as Jaden and I are out and uh, we've uh, starting to pick up a, a cow or two, we've got seven or eight down here that need to go back to the right pasture. And uh, then at the end of the week, we're going to be branding again. We've got two days of that. And so anyway, uh, a lot of you a good week and I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so Jaden has found our missing cow. These are, uh, we're, we're in that place where we run with our neighbors and they have collars on their cows, those GPS collars. So let me show you the cow we found. <laughs> there, there's the cow. Uh, we rode over in it, into an area where it said there was a cow according to GPS and somehow she slipped out of her collar. So. We're retrieving the collar, but not the cow. Anyway, we're gonna go up here where it says there's a few more cows. Uh, our neighbor sent us a screenshot this morning of his program that kind of shows where these cows are. And so we're going off that screenshot. That's what we're doing. All right, so as I'm riding back up here to these other cows, I wanted to answer some questions that were in the comments this week. And by the way, thank you. We love those comments and we love to hear from people. It's just fun, a lot of fun. But uh, one of the questions or comments that we got a lot was those cows that just got in the trailer. And I'm just gonna tell you like, that was lucky and uh, it doesn't happen very often. Sometimes you can get the right circumstances with the right cows and you can get them to load in. But for us, it's it's always uh, not that pretty. <laughs> so, um, you know, we do have to do that. And it's important that you know how to load a cow out in the open if you need to. And I always give them a chance to get in before I rope anything. Uh, you know, roping's fun and everything, but man it just it's hard on the cows and so we try to be careful about what we wrote but uh anyway we're gonna have to load another cow this week that we know is in the wrong place and there's no way to get her out other than to haul her out so we'll see maybe we'll get lucky and she'll jump right in the trailer but i i doubt it okay got uh five cows gathered up here that are the, the neighbors that we need to move off this point. So we weren't sure if we had any cows down here or not, but we knew theirs were here because they have those collars on. So we're just kind of kind of looking around a little bit to see what else might be down here. But they haven't had a drink for a few days. You can tell that for sure. A little bit dry. Alright, so I'm just trailing these cows along this rim of this canyon here and uh, just looking down in it for a minute. Just an incredible canyon. wanted to kind of show you what it was, but I don't want to get too close to the edge either. <laughs> Pretty amazing. Kind of a cool little place. It's an old watchtower. That's what it is. And they have, you find several of these in this country, but uh, some of them are standing up pretty high. In fact, uh, I'll show you one right up on this hill across from me. Uh, I'll zoom in on it. Right there, another watchtower. It's kind of cool. These cows are all right here and they're looking off in this hole seeing how they get down there and get a drink. So this is kind of a little bit of a box canyon right here. 
and there's a tiny spring in the bottom of it that these cows can come down into and get a drink. And so that's what they're doing. There's a real narrow trail that comes in here and they come in and get a drink. There's only one way in and one way out of this little place and so I don't want to get down in there and block them off or push them off in the rocks or anything. I'll let him get a good drink. Got these cows uh, down here where they need to go through a little gate to get back in the right pasture. So I'm just bumping them kind of easy down through here. Trying to get them through this gate. Jaden went back to get the truck, and so hopefully we can get them to go through this little gate right there. Yeah, that cow is gonna find it perfect. All right. Okay, we'll see if we can get the rest to go through. Go through it. Come on. Hey. Hey. They're looking at it. They're not sure they want to go through that dang little gate. <laughs> Get through there. Hey. Go on. Shh. Hey. Go on. There they go. <laughs> All right, getting them where they're supposed to be. All right, as I'm riding along, I come up on a dead cow. Dang it. Uh, she's been dead quite a while. Don't know, she might have died calving. But, shoot. We find those sometimes, not a lot, but we do, we do find them. And, uh, gosh, it's a bummer. Okay, Jaden and I are pushing these cows up this little draw here, just getting them on some water, and uh, found the calf to that dead cow. He's right up here in front of us. I don't know if we'll get him today, but we're going to get him and take him home. Oh, he's right here. Right there, that one. Kind of see how he looks. Looks doggied. Anyway, we're away from the vehicles, but we'll, we're gonna be back here in a day or two and we'll pick him up and take him home. Feed him a little bit. Or a lot. <laughs> All right, we've got those cows where they need to be. We're gonna call it a day and ride back to the truck. Jaden, he's been riding Glade today and I've been riding Duke. Did great, had a good day. I just brought a couple of my dogs today. I didn't want all of them. Because sometimes that's a little overwhelming, especially when you've got baby calves. And anyway, the cows were really good with these two dogs today. The dogs didn't have to do much, but it was good to have them, get them in shape again. They've been off for about three weeks, so <laughs> time to get them back in shape. Got home in time this evening to give Mesa a workout. Uh, we haven't really touched him for almost six weeks. We had to lay him off a little bit and uh, picking him back up. And so Trayson's working him in the round pen. We're gonna get on him here in just a minute. But Trayson's just running him back through the paces. He's doing pretty darn good. Okay, I'm gonna hand the camera to Stephanie 
And I'm gonna go down and help Trace and he's gonna step on. Okay, pretty uneventful, right? <laughs> Just a perfect example of horses that have a good brain. And that comes from good genetics and breeding. So uh, we haven't done anything with this horse for over six weeks, not one thing. And we got him in here and Trace and worked him for 15, 20 minutes, got a saddle on him, started him around, got on him. Just good. Just really good. I mean, he's a long ways from being anywhere, but <laughs> he did pretty darn good. So we're happy. All right, that's an update on Mesa. We're gonna get him going. Hey, good morning. New day, and uh, we're getting ready to move some cows, and there's a lot that goes into moving cows. It's not just as easy as getting on your horse and, and uh, pushing stuff down the country. So we're gonna get some water set up for these cows so they've got something to drink along the way. And so we have these pups that we pull behind a water truck that we can set up and put these troughs on. So we went and loaded this trough this morning and we're gonna get it filled with some water and get it ready for these cows. If we can get Jaden to get her unloaded, here we go. I better go help him. Okay, there we go, we got it. Now I'll show you kind of how we hook it up and how we use this pup. And we have a float that we put on that. And uh, it just keeps the trough full for us. There you go. Okay, get that full of water and then those cows will be able to have a drink. Okay, now we're gathering a group of cows that we're gonna push down there to that water that we turned on, which is only about two and a half, three miles. And uh, just moving them to the next little pasture, drifting them up the country a little bit and getting them on good green, fresh grass. Also making sure we don't overgraze anything in, you know, the pastures that we're leaving. We don't want them looking bad. And this pasture still looks great. So just good way to take care of things.
Got them strung on the highway pretty good right here. Hey, good morning. It is a new day and uh, that's the sigh of pure discouragement. <laughs> oh, that's how we're gonna start our day out today. Uh, so where we're at is we're back in that Johns Canyon. I told you a little earlier we're missing four cows. Well, we have some friends from Blanding that run a tour business at Sunrise Outfitters. And they're great and they're awesome. And they were down here on a tour this last Saturday and saw one of the cows and calves that we are missing. And so Jaden and I got up early this morning, loaded the horses in this truck and headed in here. And we're gonna go look for her. We have seen her tracks on the way in, so we know she's in here somewhere, but it's just like looking for a needle in a haystack. Um, this is a huge, huge area and we're just gonna have to get lucky today. and. We're gonna have to track her up and and then we gotta get her all the way out of here. So anyway, that's what we're doing today. Like I said, just a little bit discouraging because you gotta come all the way back for one cow, but that's the way it goes. So we'll see if we find her. still riding I've been riding for three hours and uh, freshest tracks we've seen are two or three days old and I'm on a cow and calf track now they're going back up this canyon like way into the back um, so I'm gonna ride up here and see just see I don't know don't know what else to do <laughs> don't know if you can hear that that thunder got a pretty good lightning and thunder going on might get wet okay update sorry it's windy but it's stormy uh four hours and i found her that rotten buggers right here in the trees in front of me i'll turn the camera around but she went all the way to the back of this canyon I just got lucky to see her too. She's right here underneath this cedar tree. Just got pure lucky to see her. Hid pretty well in there. I'm gonna try to get up around her and get her headed back down the road. Dang thing. All right, she's on the move. caught up to her and she's taking a breath and getting a drink the bad news is is that we are probably 13 miles from the trailer so we've got a long way to see if we can get her out of here I'd like to know how old that tree is right there. I think that thing is ancient. It's rained a little bit, but the wind stopped and the rain kind of moved on. So we've got quite a ways to go still, but she's doing pretty good. Riding Duke today, he sure is nice six-year-old horse we got off that pitzer ranch
hey, it's working pretty good. <laughs> oh, that calf completely wore out. Went a long dang ways and anyway, so we just caught it, put it back to the truck. This mom is just following for all she's worth and we're just buzzing right out of here now. <laughs> We made it out. It was about time. It was a long ways out of there. But that cow followed us. Followed her calf in the back of that truck the whole way. <laughs> I think she probably followed us six or seven miles at least. And when we got here, we just put the calf up in this trailer and she jumped right in after it. She wanted to kill Jaden, but she did get in. That was a close call. I almost got squished. <laughs> Anyway, we are loaded and we have the last cow off of this part. So we are super happy. And uh, okay, we'll get out of here. Got branding day tomorrow. So hopefully that goes good. All right, it's Friday. We're out on Muley today. Uh, we're gonna brand. We got a good crew of people, but uh, that's Jones Canyon behind me. I'm looking down into. Uh, one of my favorite views for sure. Uh, but anyway, it should be good. Okay, hey, just getting a few gathered up. Uh, we are, we got three or four different groups of riders today and we're all bringing cows in from different directions.
turned the calves out and everything's mothering up. We go back to eating green grass. It's a good day. So we'll hit it again tomorrow. Hey, good morning. It's a new day and uh, we are set to brand just a little bunch of calves today. We don't have too much to brand. I think we've got maybe 25 or so. It rained last night. We got these cows in the corral and so it's just a pretty cool, nice day. Uh, boy, we needed the rains. So we're happy about that. But anyway, that's what we're doing this morning. Uh, we're using the Norfolk today. So our corral's muddy and the calves are big. So that's what we're gonna do. Kind of rolling through them now. Kind of took us a minute to get our system down. <laughs> this mud a little bit, but I think we got it down. Doing good. So one of the neighbor's cows had uh, one of their GPS trackers fall off, so we uh, helped him put it back on. It was a little bit ugly, but we got the job done. Here to go put the collar on. <laughs> You're giving him a go. We just wanted to talk about uh, the giveaway that we're going to do next week. Um, we got some more hats in and a hoodie. Um, so we are going to be giving some of those away. So be sure to comment, like, and subscribe um, on this video. And uh, you'll be entered for next week's giveaway. So stay tuned for that. And uh, thanks for all the viewers. Uh, we really appreciate it. And we'll see you guys next week.